try and start something. And in this game, if Froggen can manage to land his ultimates on the target square for going for, he can completely remove him in a team fight, and that could be a big issue for Millennium. He wanted, but look at this. Aranea is going to be losing out there to Shock. Oh, Who is he going to come him? across for this one? He actually gets Cocoon, but he's already pushed through. Kevin going to dive in there. Shock is going low. Shock's a dead man. First blood comes down, and it might be a second one here. The chains didn't quite have the rate for Shock. Yeah, Nip and Taps were completely baiting this one. They actually thought they had recalled, but they stayed in the bush and waited for this one. And as soon as they come close, they went in for it. And now Shook being caught out again. Oh, this could be bad news for Shock, but we do have Frog oh, coming around chain. the side. There are the chains proking off he's gonna get stunned up but have they got the damage to finish him up yes they have Chuck goes down Aaron A is gonna fall as well that's double buff for Froggen and Froggen actually turning things around having to go at Kurt from that one as well but Jerry is definitely pushing that lane up there as Froggen actually forced to use his intervention there and Aaron A is gonna hit level six Chuck is on the top side they know where he is they're gonna go for Chuck oh, actually Aaron A just missed there he can ult him and there is the assault and battery chains go down they fly in here they get that kill Froggen's got no ultimate here he probably has to back away. He's having a bit of a go at Kurt, but that's not the real problem. Creaton's interview at the end of the day was when he said, you know, we, we felt like we were out of practice. Shook here's just got a face check in towards Aranea. Does manage to get himself the cocoon down. Aranea's losing out on this fight, and there is Froggen coming across the side. He's not going to get away. Intervention. He gets himself the assist. He got the assist. He got some gold on. He doesn't have his ultimate now, though. If Kirby's going for him. Oh, Kirby does go for him, but look at the blast back of Froggen. Going to go aggressive. Oh, he's, he's got dead. no mana, but he's got the ignite, and that's going to be enough. Meanwhile, Jay Reed down in the bottom lane. He's got all kinds of calls out from it. Timbers goes down. There's the kill. Nick picks that one up. The box will actually slow them from chasing Creedson to death. Some flashes, you know you're gonna go down sometimes. Aaron here does get caught out in there, diving onto him. He's not escaping this one. Froggen picks that one up. He's now 3 0 1 on the ultimate, and he has so much damage. They might try and go for this one, or maybe they'll just try to take a steal. We will see. Let's see how good Shook is at smiting down Dragon. Very good, apparently. He's gonna pick that one up. Wicked was at the front, taking all the damage. Cocoon actually oh. went through them. They managed to hook him. Wicked, there is the intervention. They turn around. Millennium getting burst down as Kevin will join in the fight out to the back. Good flash from Froggen, but he won't get away. But I don't know if Kevin's gonna get away either. Shook did actually die. Well, here comes Jinx pushing straight through. Super Mega Death or a Rocket all In here for Wicked. He was there. He stunned the target so they couldn't move in. And overall, Fnatic Alliance is just playing so well. Wicked there, Tonks tanked up the turret, and well, it doesn't matter. RNA is going down from this one. Assault and battery was used, but look at how much damage he's avoided. Finally, he finishes off, and they're able to get in there, get that kill onto him. Shook has gone up in the air as well from the repel. He finally comes back down. Turret's gonna go oh. down. He will fall to the ace in the hole. Jerry's low, and look at Tabs ripping through them there from that backside. Oh. With that Lich Bane in there and the Nashus tooth, as I said, the Quicksilver Sash was picked up from on the last time that they went back. There's only one in him left standing here. And look at Wicked, he does not give a monkeys. He's straight into the back oh, as they look. burst down Jay Reed. He's going to die. There is a Super Mega Death Rocket to seal that one up. Aranea trying to get in. He put his ulti down, but they've been wiped out quickly. It's a double kill for Froggen. There's another double kill coming in. This time, though, for Tad. And there is the finisher. Froggen makes it a triple. This is the third and final in him going down and surely they can win the game with this. They can finish the game from this and the team fight combo from Alliance are just showing how strong it is. Every time they start a fight they win it. That's 10 seconds until the first man comes back into play which will be Jay Reed. Oh granted Alliance aren't super healthy from this one but they can take down these Nexus turrets in a flash and they're going to finish off the Nexus as well to pick up another win this time against Millennium. What a fantastic performance for them. And two wins again for Alliance, the yo-yo team of the European LCS. One week, they're brilliant.